is Prospector Mining and Star Citizen 322 good again? Let's find out. Remember the good old days when you could find Quantanium on pretty much every single run and load up all the way over and over and over? Well, it's not that good, but it's still at least half decent. This is actually my fourth run of the day. This is the very best Quant Rock that I've actually found that I can crack, and I've already found two already. The first one I actually did find on the second run, and even though I cracked it and scooped it all up, it, uh, I think it only gave me like 4 SU of Quantanium. This Quant Rock, on the other hand, is an absolutely glorious rock, and even though it is totally awesome, I don't suspect I'm even going to fill this prospector up all the way. Now back in the day when you found a Quantanium rock like this, you just about wet your pants with excitement because you knew you were going to fill up all the way with Quantanium. It's not like that anymore. The density of Quantanium is so great and even though you're scooping like really high percentages, you're barely pulling any on board. That's kind of depressing, but you have to also consider Quantanium is worth a whole heck of a lot more than it used to be back in the day. Before players would specifically target Q-type rocks, those are Quantanium rocks and only go after them. It's totally changed now. When you fly up to, say, a cluster of rocks, the game actually rolls the dice or pulls the slot machine handle, and then each rock is determined what it's going to be pretty much on the fly. So any rock can be a Quantanium rock, basically. What I've noticed off of these four runs so far is that I'm spending no time looking for rocks and all the time mining, which is totally nice. If you're going to attempt to prospector mine in Star Citizen 322, do yourself a favor and adopt the Bob Ross mentality of mining. When you stumble across a Quantanium rock, think of it as a happy little accident. Because for the most part, you're really out here to find gold, vexillite, terranite, stuff like that. The really good, valuable minerals, and believe me, they are freaking all over the place, especially when you specifically target these rock clusters. The other cool thing that CIG did in 322 is they basically rebalanced the planets and moons and how big the rocks can spawn in those locations. Now I'm currently on Selen in the Crusader system and this moon has a mass index of 1 to 3. This means that the majority of the rocks that I come across can either be scooped directly off the ground or mined up by a prospector. Before CIG did this rebalance, anywhere you went, the majority of the rocks you came across in a prospector couldn't be mined and I tell you what, that was a complete bummer. The way it works now, there are hot spots for prospecting and there are definitely hot spots for mining in the mole. It's really good. Sadly, this rebalance didn't really happen for any of the asteroids out in the air in Halo, so if you're in a prospector, don't even bother going there until they get that sorted. Back in the day, I would literally spend days upon days upon days researching everything I possibly could about prospector mining to help y'all. I'm going to be completely transparent with you. Now I go directly to Red Monster Gaming. These guys take all the guesswork out of everything, save me entire days of my life so I can go out there and have fun. Now I can guarantee you, had I not done that, this wouldn't be my first drink of water for the day, and it would have taken me multiple days to film this video. Total time out in the field to mine up all four of these orders took me 40 to 50 minutes tops. Had I chosen some other random location and didn't hit up Red Monster Gaming first, I can just about guarantee I would have not had this exact same experience. Armed with this big brained information from Red Monster Gaming, I went to anywhere on Selen and I searched for the very first grouping of rocks, which was like almost right away. There was always something to mine there. Compared to back in the day, I would say it's still not as good. But compared to the mole rebalance, what they've done now, it is light years ahead. Because, you know, you can actually go out there and find rocks to mine now in the prospector, which is very, very nice. Thing is, though, you really do need to know exactly where to go in a prospector, or you're going to have a bad experience. Time to make that space cheddar. What the heck, CAG, are you seriously programming the NPCs to do the funky chicken? So earlier in the day, it took us about 40 to 50 minutes to mine all that stuff. It's going to take us about 10 minutes to sell it. Had I not spent the whole two minutes it took me to look at those charts on Red Monster Gaming, well, I'd still be out there testing every single moon and planet, literally wanting to gouge my eyes out. 
Instead, I got to spend all that time having fun with my friends. As well as hook up Phantom, our latest contest winner who won a Halloween green cutter in my last video. Congratulations bro for being the random winner. Sadly, I don't think that prospector or mole mining will ever be as good as it used to be when we only targeted the Q-type rocks. As it stands right now, prospector and mole mining is not as profitable as, say, going out and doing an ERT and looting a bunch of drugs. Realistically, nothing makes you more money than doing that, but at least you can make money now in the prospector. Let's start with the first big brain chart from Monster Gaming. The best three locations to mine with the prospector is going to be on Selen in the Crusader system, then Microtech and Clio in the Microtech system. All three of these places have a mass index of 1 to 3. They have charts for which refinery gives you the best bonuses. This one has a breakdown of all the mining lasers and where to get them. This chart shows the benefits and drawbacks of each module as well as where to get them. If you want to try your hand with these mining gadgets to help you crack rocks even easier, well, they got a chart for that too. This chart not only breaks down all of the mineable material properties, but also shows you the value of each of the materials. Needless to say, if you're wanting to get into prospect or a mole mining, Red Monster Gaming is basically the holy grail. These guys have proven to me time and time again, patch after patch, that their information is extremely accurate. I know exactly how much work goes into doing something like that, so links are in the description, hit them up, it's well worth it. When I ended up giving that cutter away to Phantom, I also gave him 10 million for, you know, spreading around money, so right now we're sitting at 2.51 million. This entire load here represents less than an hour's worth of mining. If you take into account the time it took me to load up everything and then fly down here to sell it, I spent basically about an hour, maybe a little bit less. Now I can't stress this enough, if you know exactly where to go, those three locations that I mentioned earlier, if you own a prospector, you're likely going to encounter a similar situation that I did. You're going to fly in, look for a large RS signature, generally means a group of rocks are going to go there, and every single time, you'll likely find something there to mine. And by stuff to mine, I'm talking about gold, boras, bexalite, terranite, laranite, agrisium, stuff like that. You will almost always find something to mine. Out of all four of the trips I made today, I only had to look for a second rock patch one time out of the four times, so that's pretty daggone good. And even in that situation, the patch of eight rocks there had one rock that I could have mined, it's just it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Here we are down to the end with the Quantanium, and I'm likely going to make a bunch of money. Now that's pretty good considering both of those rocks I, you know, found by accident and I wasn't even really looking for them. So we ended up making 550k after refining fees for an hour's worth of work doing Prospector Mining in Star Citizen 3.22.